Thank you guys for tuning into my video. John West II, JW2, coming in hot with another video. In this case, you're probably wondering, John, what's up with the editing? What's up with the, the quality of the video? In this case, guys, I'm fully aware of that, and I will get to that point where we're going to have crystal clear, perfect video. However, as of right now, my goal is just to make content, put it out there, get myself out there, provide some value. In this case, something to where you guys could watch, maybe somehow relate to me, and we could build a connection from that. So going into it, I'm going to be talking about my three biggest weaknesses and biggest struggles I've had as a person. And starting off, my first biggest weakness has been the fact that I am very, very, very bad at waking up early. I think for me, I just like to sleep in a lot. I like to sleep in, keep cozy, keep warm, not really deal with the fact that, oh, I don't want to be tired in the morning. Or I can always think of the plan B to where it's like, oh, I don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. It's not something I have to do. I can sleep until 8 a.m., 9 a.m., be cozy and warm. But then you need to take into a kind of a recognition as well that when you wake up, you know, you don't wake up on your intended time of 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. <clears throat> and you wake up at 9 a.m. instead. You're personally feeling, I mean, for myself at least, you're personally feeling defeated. When I do that, I feel like crap next. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, bro? Like, you said you were going to wake up at 5 a.m. And you obviously weren't a man of your word. And you ended up waking up at 9 a.m. So that just goes, that just kind of leads me to feeling defeated for the day. And just get me off, right? So to combat this current problem of mine, I am, I've made a challenge. It's called 5 a.m. 100, and which is... I wake up at 5 a.m. for 100 consecutive days, and this has allowed me to – I'm actually on my 13th day, so I'm wanting and I will go to that 100th day to where I wake up at 5 a.m. And my goal in doing this challenge is to where I can make a permanent lifestyle for myself and wake up at 5 a.m. on a consistent basis and ultimately start with an edge over the day. Um, majority of people wake up late or not – they just don't wake up at 5 a.m. And I think with me being competitive – I like to wake up at 5 a.m. and get a nice start to my day. Um, or I don't like to wake up at 5 a.m., but I feel an obligation that I have to wake up at 5 a.m. if I want to reach that next level. In this case, my second point, my second biggest weakness has been my personal relationship and my personal connection with women. I'm not much of a ladies' man. I think personally, I've had a tendency to blame it on the girls, saying like, oh, yeah, they don't like me for this or that, blah, blah, blah. When... And, all reality, I need to take it against myself as well as, this, as also seeing what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, sure, I might not be the woman's type. However, there's, there there has there had have been some women. There has to be someone in the hack that have a little bit of interest. It's a matter of me being confident with it, approaching them in the right manner, and ultimately building a relationship from there. Um, in this case, uh, I think I just need to be a little less awkward. And not as so standoffish, I think I have a tendency when it comes to social gatherings and kind of those events and those scenarios, I have a tendency to be a little standoffish, not really kind of almost act a little too cool for them. When in all actuality and reality, I need to be a little more open to one, a little more receptive, you know, give them a little cuddle, a little hug, whatever they want to feel secure, feel safe, and build that relationship up to the next level to where we maybe go on a date, maybe talk on Snapchat, Instagram, whatever. And I just think, personally, from my standpoint, that's something I need to work on is my game with women and being a little more, a little more good with it. Um, and I'll say the third, the third, and last thing I need to work on, and I've actually worked on a great deal to get into this point to where I don't go to college, I am in real estate, and I'm doing all the things which is kind of opposite from what everyone else is doing. And I'm glad because I'm making decisions for myself, and that gets to the point to where. I have allowed a lot of people to dictate my decisions and I've let people's opinions and criticism get to me, which ultimately burns my confidence and allow me to make a different decision to where if I stuck to that one thing and just blocked out the noise, all of the noise, I think I could have been a totally different result. So in this case, <clears throat> I've really worked on that. I really blocked out a lot of negativity and ultimately been very focused in tunnel vision, as they like to say, just got the blinders on. And just been focused on that, just focused on my goals, what I think is best for me. I don't come off of any decision with the lack of knowledge. I come in with it, making sure every decision I make is to the best of my ability to where I've done research on it, done my studying, and making sure that, hey, for you and your circumstances, it's to be the right decision. For you, John, 
and that's where I make my move. I never make dumb decisions, or I have made d- dumb decisions, but I always like to make sure I make a decision through an analytical standpoint, and then kind of go from there. Then if I make a mistake, it's a learning experience, and I build from that, and ultimately build up. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up. This is, and I'm still, guys, still trying to find my niche as to what I should be talking about on a consistent basis and what I think would be of most value to you guys um, as the, the consumer. So um, just give me a little bit. I might be testing different stuff as well. As you can see, it's my fourth video in, my, in the home office. And I might have to switch up the setting, get a better camera. Guys, and remember, I am taking into consideration that I do need a better camera. I understand it doesn't look that good on just the regular screen recorder, but I'm aware of that, guys, and it will get better through time. It's just a matter of me committing it to this and, like I said, making a personal pursuit to make it happen. Thanks, guys, and bye-bye.